You might remember the situation involving Bill O'Reilly, Fox News's Bill O'Reilly and Andrea Macris from a while back. It's called the Lufa falafel incident. It involved an out of court sexual harassment settlement where Bill O'Reilly O'Reilly reportedly paid around six million dollars. I don't know that it's been ever formally disclosed, though. The latest is that Bill O'Reilly's ex wife is accusing him or did accuse him in court documents of physically assaulting her in front of their daughter. A source says that Maureen McPhilmy, who was recently awarded custody of the couple's two children, testified in New York family court that O'Reilly attacked her at their Manhasset home. The source said that a forensic examiner testified that O'Reilly's 16 year old daughter claimed to see her father drag the mother down the stairs by the neck, unaware that their daughter was watching. It's not clear exactly when this took place presumably before the couple separated in 2010. Uh, you'll remember that Bill O'Reilly's uh, ex-wife started dating a Nassau County police detective after the separation, and it was reported that Bill O'Reilly started calling in favors and trying to get the guy harassed after raising some money for the police department he worked for. Seems like a hell of a guy, right? Uh, also tried reportedly to have his former wife excommunicated from the Roman Catholic Church. O'Reilly denied the allegations in a brief statement saying, quote, all allegations against me in these circumstances are 100 percent false. I'm going to respect the court mandated confidentiality put in place to protect my children and will not comment any further. That kind of is a comment to say that the claims are false. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty, right, Lewis? All we know is that Bill O'Reilly's ex-wife claims he beat her that their daughter said she saw him drag her mom down the stairs by the neck, that Bill O'Reilly denies it, and that a judge, after hearing all of these claims, has granted custody of the children to Bill O'Reilly's ex-wife. That's all we know. Yeah, were there, I, I don't know, were there pictures too uh, of, the, of, the, of the bruises or, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, you know, you're right, uh, we, we can't know. 100 no. percent that that Bill did this. Maybe it's uh, some type of vindictive cash grab uh, by by the family. But um, you know what? I'm not a big fan of Bill. And if I had to guess, I'd say that, yeah, he probably did it. Well, regardless of whether we're fans or not, and we're not convicting him, we're not suggesting he should be tried with criminal charges. All we're saying is based on his history of sexual harassment and of bullying and of coercion and getting people fired or th threats, all this yeah. stuff. If a judge has heard everything and everything is exactly in line with other allegations about Bill O'Reilly that have led to settlements and then the judge says, OK, yeah, the kids are going to be going with the mom here. We have to assume that this is a guy who is at minimum. Let's just not even go further than we need to. A very angry, angry guy. We know he's an angry guy, and we also know that he's a liar, as we've talked about, uh, <laughs> you know, in in the past. Uh, well, bad publicity oh. seems to work well for him because, as Lewis says, he got caught making up four or five stories. Not a single hiccup. Ratings went up. Maybe this will help his ratings as well. Uh, I, it's uh, it's really sad if it does, but maybe you're right.